Thank you for joining me. My name is Matthew Prendergast. In this video, I will be reviewing the redevelopment of an existing product for manufacturability. The customer was producing these oil filter carts effectively in a one-off manner, and that worked great for him to test the market. Demand for the product grew, and it was time to step up to low volume production. Design is a lot about your approach to a problem. And this one really suits mine. Because I come from a shop environment, I'm very conscious of considering how I will be producing anything while I'm designing it. Since we had an existing product to examine, the majority of the conceptual process was done in under an hour. From there, I moved to CAD to visualize the concept. I eliminated a lot of the individual components and that helped improve standardization, fit, and tolerance while reducing labor. Previously, fitting and welding the receptacle was an additional process that was now consolidated as a datum for the fitment of the motor mount. Who doesn't like turning a liability into an asset? I did consider a symmetrical cord hanger, but I'm always asking myself why? And cultural practice did not seem like an acceptable reason. Eliminating labor and material is a strong point for an asymmetrical design. This product looks unassuming sitting on the shop floor alone, but now you have to ask yourself how you're going to index all those parts to the existing hand truck. The welding jig is really where I leverage my CAD data and abilities. Since the production run would require the jig for a couple days after which it would be stored for a couple months, I wanted to assemble the jig in a mechanical manner. This allows the jig to be archived efficiently. It also reduces the assembly labor and improves tolerances. There's no layout, or for that matter, error in layout, and there's no distortion by welding the jig together. I elected to use wedges to mechanically fasten the jig as opposed to bolts for several reasons. They are quicker to set, they do not require any tapping operations, also, because the plates intersect each other in a perpendicular manner, bolts would have required brackets resulting in more parts and labor. Remember, a bolt is effectively a wedge wrapped around a cylinder. Aluminum was the natural selection for this application. It does not rust, weld spatter does not cling to it as much, and it is more cost effective to profile. A toggle clamp here would be the traditional manner of indexing this part, but it just seemed that it would be awkward accessing it. This just seemed natural and effective given the application. Ultimately, the product itself is not very complex. But I hope this video clearly illustrates the value of practical experience, evaluative reasoning, and an encompassing approach to product development. At this time, I'd like to thank you for watching my video, and I look forward to working with you in the future.